Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle. I make videos about astrology, mental health, tarot. What the heck is wrong with me? I can't remember what the heck I do. What the heck a heck? I don't even say that word a lot. Anyways, good morning. How are you? I'm in a silly mood. Okay, this video is going to be about the Libra new moon baby of today. What are the messages? Why do I feel like I look like a frog right now? <laughs> Anyways, I feel like that is number one message here for the Libra new moon. Source, please help me to understand what the messages are that we need to hear. I feel like it's like embracing your beauty, whatever beauty means to you, and embracing the different ways that it is expressed at different periods in your life where you could actually embrace your fucking unique weirdness and that your unique weirdness is your beauty. What? Yeah. Honestly, this, um, I would check in your chart where Libra rules, like what, what house it rules. For me, Libra is my ascendant, so it rules my first house of self. So that makes sense that I'm like whole new me kind of thing. Because your first house sets up the rest of your chart, essentially. We have change, chameleon coming out. Change. Because Libra ru blah, 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 represents relationships, it's balance, it's it's other, it's the sign of other, of having to, you know, consider other in things. I feel like, and because relationships are everything, relationships are everything because you have a relationship to, I have a relationship to my phone, to YouTube, to whatever, to these cards, relationship to my car, relationship to water, relationship to people, relationship to my clothes, Everything that we do is a relationship because it's a dance of two or more. And so I feel like this is changing in changes in our relationships that we have intuition coming out here that are guided by our intuition or changes in our relationship to our intuition, changes in the trust that we have in our intuition, the amount of faith that we have in ourself. Re reliability the goat wisdom the owl and reci reciprocity honey honey bee coming out yeah i really feel like this libra new moon is allowing us to really really fucking put ourselves first and put our opinion first even though libra is the sign of other i feel like we're really fucking allowing our own intuition to be the dictator of what do I think is healthy for myself here? And what relationships, what is the balance of reciprocity, the give and take here? What do I need? What do I have the capacity to give? Like, what am I harmonizing with? And what can I, what can I continue on with? Reliability and wisdom. Interesting. Libra new moon messages. We have companionship. Dog. What dog? Why do I say it like that? Of course we'd have a companionship. Libra new moon companionship. What did I just hear? Howdy partner? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Cycles. Hair. Yeah, so it's like, okay, you're building into a new cycle. You're you're coming into a new cycle, both at 41 and 31. That's interesting. We have, so it's five and four. Changing the way, changing what we allow ourselves. Changing who's at the table is what I'm hearing. Changing who's at the table. Source, what are the messages that we need to hear? Tolerance. What are you tolerating? What are you tolerating? And is it burnt? Is it done? Is it overcooked? Is it... Is it done? Like, if something is done, if the cycle has played out so many fucking times, let it die. Let it die. Because new players are coming up to the table now, is what I'm hearing. New players. It's a whole new fucking game now. Ah. Yeah, ritual. Bison. <laughs> what is that? That same old song and dance. I don't know the fucking rhythm. The rhythm. I don't have the rhythm or the 
the song part to it, but same old song and dance. Are you doing the same old song and dance? Because stop doing the same thing and expecting different results at the literal insanity ritual. This is recognize the impact that your social circle has on you. How you speak, what you tolerate, what you do is a ritual. It's a ritual because it's 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 what you're creating, it's what you're allowing, it's what you are facilitating. Transformation sea otter. Are the rituals, are the people you're talking to, the things that you're saying, the things you're harmonizing with, right? Libra relationship. Are they facilitating your transformation or are they stuffing you down? Ancestors, polar bear. Excuse me. This is you needing to know that you are held whenever you want to make a change and you feel like, oh, well, I don't have friends here or, or I want to move here and I don't have friends there or, or I want to do this different, but I don't have friends there. Your ancestors are there always point period blank. That's how you say it. Point blank period. There we go. Where you lean on spirit. You lean on spirit. You you measure your, you not, you don't measure. Ah, I said measure, but it's a measure of your faith. You go where you're led because you know that you might find something there that is that is beautiful for you. Authenticity, wolf. Exactly. Don't ever be worried about, I don't have enough friends, I don't have this. Just focus on being your authentic self. And whatever is brought to you that you wish to tolerate because you resonate with it, not necessarily what you attract, but what you tolerate, that's how you grow your circle. That's why you grow your circle. And that's really what is happening. Release at the bottom. You guys are releasing. You're releasing so, so much. You've been releasing so, so much. And this Libra New Moon is really this opportunity, a blank slate. I'm seeing a white page where it's, write down, what do you want to harmonize with? <laughs> why am I hearing? I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. It's like, life in plastic is fantastic. Get into this mindset of you're the programmer of your world. Okay, what 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 disc are you going to plug in? What are we, the fucking 1980s? No, they didn't even have that in the 1980s. But what disc are you going to plug, plug in, right? Take responsibility for your choice in creation of your life. Manifestation just means creation. So it's like, what are you intentionally creating in your life? Remember, remember. The ritual. Who's at your circle matters. It matters. And it's not from a egotistical place. Like, I need someone who's rich. I need this. No. Who is heartfelt, soul deep for you? You only get to live this one life in this incarnation. Okay? Yes, you can incarnate. But you're not going to be fucking this person no more. No, you won't. This person only exists once. So let this person live. What does your inner child want to do? Who, what do they want to harmonize with? Who do they want to harmonize with? These are questions you should be asking yourself for this Libra new moon. New moons are times of beginning. They are rich for manifestation. It's the void. It's the darkness. It's it's the feminine. It's it's the belly of the wolf. Why am I hearing that? Yeah, because it's like roar. Like I'm seeing a wolf like just like roaring. Oh, howling is the right word, but... But literally, how, like, like, I'm hearing audacious, like, have the audacity to roar for your dreams, roar for what you will, what you desire, what you desire. This Pluto going direct on this Libra new moon is giving us the energy, the empowerment to say, I am worthy of what I desire, actually, and I'm capable of creating it for myself with baby steps but I will take one step at a time because I know that I'm worthy of it action follow your intuition before it makes sense get that blank piece of paper and write what do you want to harmonize with what creations what collaborations would make you feel soul felt alive what makes you want to wake up and see the world in a beautiful light these are the questions you need to ask yourself Hi, hi, Wraith. Longing for home, homesick for the stars. A lot of you guys are star seeds. You are from other, you have got other galactic lineages. And 
you are being told right now to embody this incarnation. You will go home eventually. But for now, you chose to come here, okay? For now, you chose to come here. It's okay to miss home. Talk to them. Communicate with them always. You are always connected. But you have a purpose here now. And your purpose, instead of, if you don't know what it is, just focus on wellness. And that will allow you to find your purpose because it will come to you. When you, the only thing you're responsible for is being your most authentic, most authentic and knowing yourself deeply and loving. That's it. Starkeeper, cosmic ancestors, see the light by staying grounded. That's so fucking funny because I was saying longing for the homesick for the stars and I went on a little tangent like my Gemini sun and Mercury ass usually does. And I was thinking, but but when I pulled this card, the first message I heard was you need to be grounded. If you are homesick for the stars, it's because you're not grounded enough. I literally just heard stay here. You're staying here. I just heard like a ding, like ding. Interesting. Starkeeper, cosmic ancestor, see the light by staying grounded. You are important. What you desire has been put in your heart for a reason. Do not neglect your needs. Do not neglect your desires to harmonize with things. I'm hearing bells. Don't, ooh, don't neglect. Maybe some of you guys are really wanting like deep soul connections. You're tired of superficial connections. You want like a marriage, a union. Write about it. Write your story. Write your story as if it already occurred. We have earthed. Learning how to be human in the world but not of it. Wow. A lot of you guys are really struggling right now to, to stay present. in Because you're, you're too aware of the pain. You're too aware of the havoc. You're too aware of what is painful and you need to disconnect disconnect please star keeper in the globe and this one also kind of in a globe you need to create this safe haven for yourself okay and that is from within that that's going to come forward remind yourself that no matter what happens on the external that you are safe child of the cosmos the intelligence of the universe lies within you So this redirection, this redirection, maybe you're like, I don't know what I want. You're watching too many videos. You're spending too much time on the internet. Welcome. Hello. This is on the internet. Internet. Um, yeah, codependency, the bottom of it here. It's codependent on outside news sources to give you a feeling of safety. That's within you. Create that from within you. Any other messages for this video, for this Libra New Moon? Okay, so Libra has a tendency to be very aware of other, right? So it's like learning to really decipher what is yours, what is not. What is your responsibility and what is not? And your responsibility, like I said before, is to focus on your wellness because that in itself is going to reverberate an energy that actually heals people without verbal communication. And yeah, loosen your grip. Coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. In activated earth, power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. You need to fall into whatever it is that your heart is calling you to do because that is how the universe speaks through you, through your heart. Okay, this is a huge, 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 huge period of all of our lives where we are really having to, to stretch our faith. You will be rewarded. Fortune favors the bold means you are rewarded for persevering when you cannot fucking see shit. Because you activate that, that light from within you. Ow. Hold on. Wait, what the hell? Oh, it's in the back. From 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 the back. I'm up. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna say that. Okay, double mission light work star light worker star seed serve the world by being you. If you were confused as to whether you have a cosmic lineage, please don't be because you are. You are you are a motherfucking alien embodied. You are a motherfucking alien embodied. And here's the thing, guys. Everybody on earth practically is because Yeah, literally, Earth learning to be human. We're learning to be human. Our souls are not human. And this is why 
yeah, with Libra as well, like we are learning to hold two opposite opinions at the same time. That I am human. I am just as much human as I am divine. It's like that is what was holding you back from feeling, yeah, from feeling like you were worthy of asking for what you desire. Again, which is relationship wise, like what you want. A job is a relationship. You have a job, you have a relationship with that job, right? A car is a relationship. You have a relationship with that car. So you got the love. Hey, Darian, energy, codependency, boundaries, and the seeds of Mintaka, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. You are like, I see it's like you're pulling all, you're pulling all yourselves back. You're pulling all yourselves back for this Libra new moon. Intentionalize. Is that a word? I don't know. Intend that you pull all of yourselves together. Intend that you pull all of yourselves together. Multidimensionality. All of your power back to yourself so that you can harmonize and have the awareness of what you want to harmonize and what new ground you want to build for yourself. No stone left unturned. What is it? Oh, fuck. What is that saying? What is it? Lilo and Stitch, like, something means family. Family means nobody gets left behind. Means family. Family means nobody gets left behind. Hakana? What is it? Fuck. I don't remember it, but that's basically it. Nobody gets left behind. Yeah, five of cups. You're still processing grief from the past. Let it all out, baby. Let it all out. Be patient. Be patient with your release of the past. Be patient of your release of the past. Exactly. Queen of wands. Definitely highly connected to inner child but releasing the burden that are that is not yours to carry anymore because that's what's keeping you clouded from what you want that's what yeah the moon here the moon and the devil you're not seeing that it's fucking illusions you're not seeing that it's fucking illusions this is toxic ass energy towards yourself you don't hold on libra new moon Setting the stage is what I'm hearing. Page of Swords, understanding. Setting the stage to understand. Because Libra is air energy. Let's not get it twisted here. Libra fucking knows. Libra's intelligent as fuck. To understand. Yeah, you want to understand. Okay, if you don't know where you want to go, set the intention that you will understand where you want to go. Clarity will come to you on what you want to create. And it'll come from your higher motherfucking self. The Hermit. It's going to come from within. Stop looking outside of you. Question. Question why there is this, there's this control issues. There's these control issues. What is this happening about? What is this happening about? Is that even a sentence? I don't know. Page of cups, eight of wands. You're about to understand where this rigidity comes from. The rigidity that comes up in your life shows you something. This could even be you just really, really wanting to hold on to your dreams so hard. Like, like, remember that control issues, like it comes from a naive place. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you need to, oh shit. Hold on. There's a huge understanding coming forward that is going to lead you to be fully embodied in your power. Huge emotional fulfillment. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. I tried to put them back and they wouldn't come out. They wouldn't put, go back. Libra New Moon. Set the intention for empowerment. I hear something. Affirmations are huge for this new moon, by the way, because Libra's an air sign. Yeah, they just fell down. It's the culmination and the integration and the harmonization. <gasps> Set the intention to harmonize with your divine masculine and divine feminine within you. That's what this is. Yep. 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 Yep, 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 yep. yep. The more you intentionalize inner work, manifest inner work, 
the more the outside is going to reflect that baby. Don't get it twisted up with, oh, I want to get this house, I want to get this car. What do you need in yourself first? Does your inner world reflect the capacity to hold that external world yet? Is your divine feminine inside of you healed enough to receive, to be open to receive all of that? Is your divine masculine healed enough to know when to start and when to stop? Oh my fuck, I am literally, my ears keep ringing, 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 ringing. The hermit, you really need to, bro, whose ancestors and guides are loud as fuck here? I actually feel like it's the cosmic, this is the cosmic lineage, isn't it? Yep. Cosmic lineage is saying, look inwards to understand where to go because baby, you're leaving this fucking shit ass place. You're leaving it. Yeah, you're going. You're leaving. You're leaving the chaos and into the connection within yourself or whatever else it is that you are meant to harmonize with. And you need to believe that. It's going to take hard work. It's been taking hard work. You have been working hard acknowledge how hard you've been working okay acknowledge your capability acknowledge how much things have hurt acknowledge also the depth within you that has been created out of just simply acknowledging the pain um specific message acknowledge how much uh drug addiction coping mechanisms that are unhealthy were your way of defending yourself maybe even from the memories from the mems from the mems but the star a lot of you guys maybe for this libra new moon need to set the intention that your relationship to substances or anything that you have coping mechanisms that are very dis um dangerous for your well-being Set intention that that relationship within you is healed so that you no longer feel attracted. Because again, we can talk about L Venus rules Libra. So Libra is about attraction. So set the intention that you become attracted to things that are very, very good for your mind, body, and soul. And that you stop being attracted to things that are not good for you. Things that that are taking you away from your worth and your emotional well-being, right? We got to really get out of this mindset of instantaneous gratification so that we can allow our destiny and our generational wealth to be materialized. Are there any other messages for this Libra new moon? We have the soul butterfly. Take the, you got to prioritize listening to your soul okay you watch this video but you gotta prioritize above all i hope you were taking notes taking time to listen to your soul what makes you feel beautiful what makes your soul feel safe to express itself within your being beauty and the truth what did i just fucking say the the beauty speak mercury retrograde be fucking me um the truth is beauty your truth is beautiful. I just heard orchestration. You are a divine orchestration. All right, let me just close my eyes and see if there's any other messages source. My hair. <laughs> Look at the fucking toothpaste on me. Okay, focus, yeah. Are there any other messages for this Libra new moon? Ancestors, guides, higher self. If anybody has a spirit animal that is a blue blue jay, they're here. Oh, it just looked right at me. You need to know that you are supported in the astral realm. You are not alone. Let me just see. Father God, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Ancestors and Guides, Source. What are the messages? Team. I do heard team. What are the messages that we need to know about this Libra new moon? Team. Self-esteem. <laughs> Not just because it rhymed. But really, uh, intentionalizing self-esteem. Team. Teamwork shows us relational wounds. 
healing relational wounds. Relationships to the mother, to the father, to parent, to feeling supported, to feeling heard, to feeling seen, to feeling recognized. Libra and Venus energy is very recognition energy, right? It's like, wow, I see your beauty. So needing to recognize that for ourselves, like, wow, I see my beauty. Because as within, so without. I see myself, I recognize my beauty, and therefore it radiates brighter. And then it's more magnetic. My aura is more magnetic. Teamwork makes the dream work you don't need to do everything alone oh my god damn it like you don't need to do everything alone people you need to hear this you don't need to do everything alone i'm literally screaming in my car but um destiny the card of destiny here where did you go we can see on it that it's about it's it's about legacies. And when we look at the word legacy, this means what do you leave behind? It means that you are gone, but you are still there through other people, right? Ow, fuck that hurt. <laughs> There's family here. Doesn't need to be blood family. This can be you know, a nuclear family, which means like your in-laws and stuff like that, but it can be friends that feel like family, soul family, dogs, places. You know, the earth, the location on the earth can feel like family because we are earthlings. We are as much earthlings as the blade of grass is. You know what I'm saying? So it's a remembering of cosmic connection, a remembering of, because the earth is in the cosmos, right? Connection, reframing connection. Are there any other messages? Drop your guards. Your own walls are keeping out the love that you want. Whether you have your walls up or not, you will be hurt again. <laughs> Sorry. It's the truth. So you having your walls up, it's the same. You're hurting yourself just by having your walls up. It's the same thing as like, whether you hold a grudge or not, shit goes on life is turning the wheel is turning so you holding a grudge is only hurting yourself it doesn't hurt the other person it's only hurting you it's only blocking you from your blessings so really i see like because libra is other it's like taking that finger that we want to go it's their fault and going but why am i pointing the finger you know it's questioning but why am i even doing this but why am i even thinking other to begin with for my path. Try to get a message of source. For this Libra new moon. Some of you guys need to sing your intentions. There's beauty in voice, in, in song, in lyric. And it doesn't need to fucking sound good, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is the definition of sounding good? Okay, like, we, we, I know. I know what you're thinking, I know. But good to me is free. Feeling like no inhibitions. Like, I can just sing. I'm like, I am beautiful. There's actually a study done that the, the alpha, or I don't think it's alpha, but the brain waves in your brain are closer to a state of, like, higher state of vibration when you sing. So if you sing your affirmations, you are empowering them more to reverberate more. You know? So do that. Anything else for this Libra new moon that you can change anytime you motherfucking want? Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. <sighs> It's not your responsibility to heal your entire generational line. <laughs> Drop the motherfucking burdens. <clears throat> no, no more. Wellness. Wellness above all. 
the messages. Any other final messages? I'm seeing like a fighter jet. Like a that's what it looks like. Probably because this um Pluto is direct on this Libra New Moon. So it's like it's like you have the power right now to fucking catapult yourself years ahead with the internal work. You, you just, you just need to know that there's no wrong right way to do anything, okay? You don't even need to do shit all for this Libra New Moon. If you don't have the energy, if you don't have the capacity, if you don't want to, don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Basically, embody your fucking soul purpose by, which is, by the way, you, yourself, wellness, and then purpose will be attracted to us. Remember that. Don't go running around. We're not in that fucking masculine energy. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do me, and I'm gonna let what is meant for me be attracted to me because... I'm worthy of that. I'm worthy of that. Point period, point, point period blank. Point blank, point blank period. Why do I keep fucking that up? Anyways, so I love you so much. Let's see um, one message about what does the collective have to look forward to? King of Pentacles. So it's really, you have to look forward to the fact that you are coming into this understanding of what the fuck is your legacy? What the fuck do you want? What is your purpose? What is going to be your foundation? I love you so much. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stick around because there's plenty more where this came from. Anyways. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Some serious spiritual awakenings happening right now. I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye.